or if Origin will surprise us. Game number two, here we go. Already, may makbaan na. Dito, sa may river on the blue, sa on the, 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 the red team's uh, purple buff uh, on their side of the map. Mukhang uh, si Bimo ay pinapahirapan si Choco. That wasn't bad. That's not a bad way to clear time. That's okay. Yeah. Hmm. Mage killer actually para kay Choco. Okay, to help a bit with the damage for for the lords and the turtles para dun sa mga objective takes. Yung, the thing for Origin Esports ha, especially if magdo-dominance ice dito si Killer, ang daming slows para sa side ng Origin Esports. But will they mm -hmm. have enough damage? Ang daming pressure na dito para kay Sent na come the team fights, come the part of the game na naglalaban na sila, skirmishes, team fights. Si Sent yung main source ng damage dito ng Origin. We also need to look for what build Choco will go for. Yeah, their their main damage source and their only damage source. Everyone else is some level of sustain. Mm -hmm. So parang hirap, parang hirap nung lineup ng Origin pero dive kung dive. That's what its lineup is. It's a pure dive comp. Definitely. But how will that handle in the in the laning phase and the other moments of the game? First blood. Oh. Warning. Down goes Sent again, the only damage source and the softest one uh, on their lineup. By the way, Renmar, di ko alam kung alam mo to ha, pero napalitan yung pangalan ng Mage Killer. Ang pangalan niya na ngayon ay Demon Slayer. And down goes Dokman one more mm. time. Two free kills and a turtle going over to Onyx PH here. Yep, guys, ang pangalan ng nung emblem na yan ay Demon Slayer. Alright. Di na ako sanay. <laughs> di ako sanay. No, we yeah, haven't seen it in a long time. Ang oh. tagal na. Alright. So there's more damage there, but still at the end of the day on in Philippines, nakuha nila yung turtle. First one of the game. First blood also from them. And this is what I'm gonna be worried about here for Onyx uh, for Origin Esports. Um yeah, looking at on paper their lineup, there is sense there. It just puts too much pressure on Scent to be able to deal damage, but they have a lot of sustain in front line. Choco will also be able to deal damage pag naka setup si Dokman. But what about the global presence of Onyx Philippines? Red team hero yep. has been the global seen. presence and the mobility na naikan natin ngayon. Napabagsak nila si Sten. Nag-push na sobrang bilis. Si Kapasho kinagat si Dokman. Hindi na naka-perfect match. Actually, I think uh, Atlas got kind of buffed uh, in the recent patch as well. It's just hard to see it right now in the face of Onyx Philippines. Na sobrang seryoso, sobrang bilis gumalaw. Here's an instant replay. Alam mo, ito yung alam mo na hindi pa ako sanay na magkas ng Valentina at first Valentina game ko to yung as. Na ano, naduling ako eh. Ba't dalawa bigla yung Atlas? <laughs> Nagtataka ako, ba't naging Atlas bigla si Grit? Alam ko, Valentina yun. But then yes, Valentina <laughs> takes the form and takes the ultimate. So, di lang ako tanay pagkas ng ano. So, of, ng Valentina. But ang Origin has to be careful of that. that. Because one of their main ultimates for their team, para sa composition nila, the fatal links of the Atlas, pwede na kawan ng Onyx Philippines, and they'll have that setup factor na hinahanap ng Onyx PH. Kasi, in terms of that setup factor, without the ultimate, it's just Dilar. But now that they have the fatal links na pwede nila nakawin, it's also Greed. Yep, and so far, Greed is again taking the form of Doc Men. Pero ngayon si Bimo, madedelegado, Seth gets a kill. So, may konting hawi na dito origin. And now, Marky, meron pa rin siyang aso, so all the more he is okay, he's safe now, the counter engage, is there enough damage here? That's Dilar, Trinchera, jumping on, falling story mo dito kay Dokmen! Kinapos sa buong kanda ni Greed, and Flicker spent already kay Dokmen, that's another 2, under 2 minutes, given na naka-pull it up together siya. So, nagahanap ng bawi ang Origin, may naawan pa, tinatry na awan ni Choco, and there's the punish! Down goes killers. Killer pala. Grabe naman. It's, it's the Uranus. What was he thinking? Si Choco. Starting up the turtle. I, I don't know if the turtle is doing it, Renmar. Well, right now, nahirapan yung Origin Esports, but Onyx Philippines might actually lose his turtle because Choco gets it. Nice steal! Retri on a point! Meron ng shields ngayon ng Origin Esports, so mas maganda na ngayon ang kanilang dive potential. It's all the more incentivized. Down goes Marky. Dito sila malakas. Dito malakas ang Origin kapag sinabi nilang pasok tayo. Walang makakapigil. Dilar, still looking low! Going away. Greed buying some time. Here comes Hatred. Papasok! Coming down from the fifth boys! And there's the... 
falling star moon still off of cooldown. All they needed was the Tempest of Blades. At nabawi pa nila. Origin Esports, not the time to engage. Not like this. Yeah. Counterplayed by Onyx PH. Top lane getting cut there somewhat. But this is the strength that we're seeing in Origin. Yes. Right now, their lineup looks weird to us. Pero ang kunat ng lineup nila, there's a lot of sustain. You have heals coming in from the Rafaela. You have the Uranus being able to heal himself. Dokmen with the uh, as a tank, naturally he will be tanky. Of course, Choco as well. So with all that tankiness, and again, and damning slow aside no origin esports. You have the slow from the first kill of the Rafaela. Choco just all his skills naturally have slows as well. Origin esports, it's totally set up para kay Sent that we saw there that if Onik aren't careful. Ang daming makuna sa side ng Origin, hindi nila mapatumba, tas nakaka-free hit lang dito si Sen. Although Onyx still are in control, now, oh. moving forward, we're gonna see them respect that fact. Yep, sobrang all-in lang talaga ng Origin Esports. So, kailangan din umanap ng timing at mag-decision na ito yung engage natin. Fatal Links here, catches one! Ito na ang bawi. Oh! It's working! Redmar, it's happening! Ang daming na wala sa ito, Onyx! It's a 3 for 1 so far! Hatred taken down! Si Bimo! Delikado na, may bawi sa likod si Dilar, and that's a 4 for 2! Mania on Choco! The Wombo combo is real! Kakasabi ko lang, the Origin Esports lineup, when it works, it works like that. Sent, baka mapatuba dito, just forced him back. But that is a massive swing for Origin Esports. On it, Philippines have to be careful with things like that. Dogman, good call. Forcing the flicker, going in with the ultimate, setting things up, everything for Origin Esports. Onyx Philippines. Oh! Ng fatal links. Wala na sila magawa. They just all fell down one by one. Finish na. Kahit na dalawa lang ang tinamaan ng fatal links. I knew it was strong. I knew it was good. I didn't think it was this good. Kamunti na na yung maging wipe out. So again, Origin Sports back on the table, back on the board. They have to consider Onyx, I'm talking about Onyx, they have to respect the damage and the, the engagement that Origin Esports is putting on the table. In real time though, tina natin, in real time, mukhang may engagement na naman na nangyari sa mid, and so far, valid target na ng uh, heart guard si Dilar, so they might have to consider that, they might have to think about it like that. Oh! Ang lalim! Ni Marky Kapasho, Choco! Threatening a kill, and he gets punished for going a little too deep. Shut down, Dito Mulaki Hatred, and Falling Star Moon can charge up. Cancelled. Can I say what I want? Dito, see si Dockman. So far, I think Onyx is back in the driver's seat, ha? pero 2k gold lead na lang sila. Oh, uh, Marky, it looks like sacrifice yung ginawa niya doon. Yes, it turned the focus of Origin Esports na depensahan na nila yung bottom lane, which opened up the kill onto Choco and the tower break. Para sa Onyx Philippines doon sa mid lane. So now Onyx Philippines knowing that oh my god, ganito yung lineup na kalaban natin. Kasi space out na sila ng mapa. They're showing up more of that old banana split style that we know them to have. Na okay, pag naka-split tayo sa mapa, that's less chance na ma-wipe out tayo galing sa isang setup o sa isang play. Galing kala Dogmen, kala Choco. And at the same time, na pressure natin yung mga side lane towers. So it's a good call for Onyx Philippines to adjust their play style in this way. But still, the risk of Origin setting them up para sa isang play, one turn around play again, is still there. Especially now that the Lord is up and Origin will want to contest. Kailangan mag-ingat ang Onyx Philippines sa positioning nila dito. Yep, that's the clutch. That's, that's literally the clutch that Onyx Philippines has to step on. Kailangan nila mag-full on banana split kasi yun yung gusto ng Origin eh, na magsama-sama kayo. That's what that last almost wipeout uh, brought them. So ngayon, tama to. I like what they're doing. Si Bimo, nagki-clear lang. Napipilit lang mag 4v1, 4 protect 1. And then mabilis sa maggumalaw sa hatred on that lane. Let's see, sinula na ni Dilar, ang Lord dito. Putting it at about uh, 3 fifths. Uh, sorry, uh, 4 fifths of its health. Now 3 fourths. Ready sumagot si Cho. Oh, Gina G. Oh, Gina G. Oh, Gina G. Origin, apat dito na sa may Lord. Pero si hatred at saka si Bimo doon na sa bot lane. So napaforce back ang mga miyembro ng Origin. Ah, this is what Onyx are gonna do. They're gonna keep forcing the members of Origin away, pressuring the side lanes. So, it's gonna be up to Killer to defend. Oh, It'll be a big oh, team fight. Oh, 
si Dogman, humahanap, manatal na, falling star moon, that's going at the D, D, fatal links on to one, super marky with the punish, and there's a time with the blade back, yun up Choco, there's too much damage here, Green rain down onto them, and hindi na mauulit, yun ang yari kanina, down goes Green, pero mapapawi, and there's the only damage star from Origin, fighting it, and mapapabagsak, it's just killer, and the Toshi left, at ngayon babagsak pa rin si killer, si Toshi na lang ang natitira, Adrian baka pupunta ngayon, he cannot defend this. May mabubutas. May isang lane na mabubutas para sa origin. Dokman forced to use the fatal links really early. Origin had the chance to counterplay there, but Onyx Philippines, alam na nila, na naranasan na nila. It's like, okay, we felt it the first time. Ayaw namin ulit yung mangyari yung nangyari kanina. So they repositioned a bit. Actually, si Hatred, pagbaba niya doon sa Tempest of Blades niya, iniwasan niya muna yung damage ng Clint ng quick draw tas lumapit siya go hop on the wall then to the back line tas Onyx Philippines they were able to respond great repositioning by Onyx Philippines uh, respecting the capability of Origin Esports na mag set up ulit na katulad na nakita natin kanina mm -hmm. grabe na masin nangyari kanina that really was the wombo combo as in dream come true parang ihinain sa Origin Esports pero ngayon change priorities Onyx Philippines went for that early Lord di nila inantay yung Luminous Lord so I think ipapaubahin nila dito sa Lord sa bottom lane para mabutas ang bot lane so Toshi did not have to think about that did not have to deal with it as this push for Rafaela pero mabuhulis nila dito fatal link sa isa that's a pick off on the hatred wow and that is bad they could have used that link para maka split push sila either to take down more of the towers in the mid lane add more pressure to the top lane tignan natin kung makakabasag di oh, okay Marky able to break down the mid lane oh, oh. tower let's see kung makakawa pa ng tower dito ang Onyx PH synchronized push ang ginagawa nila si top lane si Bimo ang nag-aalaga dun sa second tier turret and that wave and so far inhibitan sila ang nating tira so Onyx PH are taking their time naiintindi nila na ibang game na to iba na yung dynamics Kapag pinilit natin masyado, we're gonna get punished hard. So now we take our time. They're gonna wait for one more Lord, I believe. 90 seconds. Oh. Uh, sa next Lord natin, makita yung action ng laban na to. Another team fight, another big skirmish to change the game. Both teams, kung sino man manalo, o kung sino man matalo sa next team fight, if it's gonna be for the Lord, they're gonna do their best to not get wiped out. Uh, at this point in the game, getting wiped out will be massive, especially for Origin. Yung good news para sa Onyx is wala pa silang Tori na wala dito sa map. Six towers broken yes. in the game, all of them for Onyx PH. So Origin, kahit maka-wipe out sila dito, ang dami nilang Tori kailangan ba sa again. If the minion waves yeah. are there for them, baka pwede kaya nila mag-rush mid. But at this point, the respawn timers hindi pa ganun kataas. Yeah. Uh... Again, yun yung isang mga weakness ng laban ng, ng, ng lineup na to sa labanan, uh, Origin Sports. They're really great team fights. Pero ang, talo, ang talagang kaya lang mag-push dyan si Sent. Si Clint. So, al talagang kailangan nila alagaan si Clint. Baby Sent. Sent. Baby Sent. Mm. Yeah. Dogman. Oh. Others. Toshi. Let them be the ones to set things up. Choco even can help set things up. And right now, with the positioning of Onyx, especially considering nasa ma major objectives na tayo, ma mas madaming bounce makukuha ni Choco dun sa blood bath, ano niya, sa ultimate niya. Uh, Curse of Blood, sorry. Uh, that's mm -hmm. a lot of targets to be able to hit up to three. A lot of damage, a lot of control. Kaya ang daming crowd control at saka parang hindi burst kasi sa origin other than Kaysen. Eh. It's just over time mm -hmm. habang tumatagal yung laban pag naka-abilities na yung Origin Esports, doon mo mararamdaman yung mga damage nila. Sustain ni Coach Maximus. Parang patagalin mo na 4 oh. seconds yung laban. Tapos lahat sila nandun. Yun yung nangyari kanina eh. So I think Onyx PH, na-intendent na rin, na-gets nila. Nakatakot nga naman talaga. So right now, they're going in for the Lord. Half health. Ang bilis, ang bilis. There's no contest here. It's very difficult for Origin to contest. Unless pulitin nito yung Dokmen. Not gonna happen. There's an engage at top though. Papasukin ng tatlo. And there you go. Heart guard. Cancelled, not just yet. Sabi ni Dilar, wag muna. Tol, okay lang. Kakagatin dito si Killer. Mark, he deals so much damage. Greed, a little too forward. He's okay. Libre ang pagkuha ng Lord dito. Second Lord for Onyx PH. Uh, this next 
Fight or Siege sa base ng Origin Esports. Kailangan mag-ingat parehas nila kasi si Grid kinuha niya yung ultimate dito ni Dokmen. Of course, Dokmen also has his ultimate. Both teams have their ultimates here. Origin, sa lineup na to, they can actually be terrifying to defend against. Kung hindi mag-ingat ang Onyx Philippines sa position nila, tatlo, abaka apat, mahuli sa kanila. Tapos pagkatapos nun, Origin will be able to clean up house and be able to defend, maybe even push deep into the inhibitors of Onyx Philippines. At the same time, Onyx Philippines, if Greed finds one big opening, he'll, they'll be able to set up against Origin Esports really well and end the game. Oh, there you go, finally. Nabutas ang bot lane and there's a, a Fatal Lynx by Greed! Pero mo siya pa yata ako papasama, walang follow through doon! Maganda yung engagement, maganda yung threat of activation. Pero hindi nila na sink in. Ngayon sabi ni Dokmen, panoorin mo, ako naman ang gagawa! That's a two for none so far! Onyx PH suffering major losses. They took down inhibitor down bot, but at what cost? At the life of Marky and Baloy. Oh, man. I'm not sure what happened there para sa Onyx Philippines. Kung si Marky nandun, siguro makakapag-damage nun si Marky and be able to help take down members of Origin. Or maybe hindi lang nakita ni Greed na medyo malayo yung mga miyembro ng team niya. This is bad for Onyx PH. Makakapag-depensa pa sila, but this is more control for Origin. Yep, here we go. Heart guard on to Delarski, Trinchera, Exerio Combo. Hina natin, can Hatred finish the job? Dive it into Scent. Can they do it? Can they finish it? There's a Tempest of Blades. Greed taking down Scent. And the damage is real. Hatred taking down Doc Menta. Pupunta, Choco. In a chase dito, Nang on PH. And finally, that's going to be the Carmilla taken down. Three for none, ang palitan. And on a PH can smell blood. Isa pa! Isa pa, sabi ni Serio. Papajukin pa kita dito. Hey, J-Lord. Hey, Thread. Let's do it one more time. Pero walang minions. Here we go. Late the wave. But finally, mabubutas ang PD inhibitor ng Origin. Oh, sa pangagat. They're not done. Actually, you know what? They might actually be done. They might finish right here. Marky Capasho focusing down onto the veins. And that's gonna be a 2-0 sweep for Onyx Philippines.